I made a I made this map last night on Twitter because mm -hmm. I was watching Donald Trump deliver his speech on law and order in Wisconsin. As we know, there was um, some uh, some when we'll get into this uh, sure. about the disturbances in Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin, after a police shooting there, and Donald Trump parachuted in to give a speech on law and order. Wait, did he literally parachute in? I wish that would be the case. I wish that I'm assuming it was probably a helicopter. Okay. Yeah, but or or true. or the Trump plane. Bummer. And he kept on saying in the speech uh, that here he is in Milwaukee and they've been having all of this crime and it's all the fault of the Democrats and it's all the fault of Hillary Clinton. And he kept on saying here in Milwaukee, here in Milwaukee, here in Milwaukee. But he wasn't actually in Milwaukee. <laughs> he was in West Bend, Wisconsin, which is a 46 minute drive from Milwaukee. I Google mapped it. Okay. And is a is a town that is more than 90 percent white yet here he was trying to give a speech that was an effort to reach out to african-american voters and to convince them that hillary clinton is just using them for votes doesn't really care about them that democrats in general don't care about black voters and that it's really donald j trump who incidentally earlier in his career was investigated and then had to settle lawsuits for apartment buildings that he wouldn't rent to black people and would put little C's on the applications of African-American renters, C for colored, so that they wouldn't what? get apartments in his buildings, two separate investigations. This is the man who yesterday was in West Bend, Indiana, claiming he was in Milwaukee, claiming that he is the savior that African Americans have been waiting for. Here's some sound of Donald Trump explaining that it's actually the Democrats that have failed the African American community. The Democratic Party has failed and betrayed the African American community. Democratic crime policies, education policies, and economic policies have produced only more crime more broken homes and more poverty. Now, the speech wasn't really about education policy or economic policy, as he referenced there. It was only about crime, mostly about crime, which incidentally is the only time he mentions black people, by the way. Black people are really only mentioned when he talks about crime and violence and rioting. And it was a point that Don Lemon uh, picked up on, who was the anchor on CNN after the speech was over, and he turned to Kellyanne Conway, who mm -hmm. happened to be the Trump surrogate, analyzing the speech. Today we learn, of course, that she's the new campaign manager. Mm -hmm. And he said to her, Kellyanne, have you, have you heard in this speech Donald Trump reference any other group of people when it comes to crime, or is it only African Americans? And she looked at him a little stunned, <laughs> and she says, you know what? I wasn't taking copious notes. The new campaign manager for Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and he asks her again. And she says, well, I don't know why you're focused on that. Uh, yeah, why not? So there we go. Um, A completely white crowd listening to Donald Trump's big speech in a predominantly white community of West Bend, Wisconsin, about how violent black people are because they are in his view rioting um and not not appreciating the lives of police officers and how he's the one who's going to bring order back to america <laughs>